What's up guys, it's Jeremy with another Moto 360 video. Today's video is going to be about the 5.0 update to Lollipop for Android Wear. Now you may be wondering, yes the previous version was 1.x, but Google wanted to have a more universal uh, updates, a new, more universal name, so when you hear Lollipop or you hear 5.0, you know it's for either Android Wear or your smartphone itself. Now this update does actually add quite a few new features which we're going to be going over today. One of the f one of the coolest features now is that the API for the watch face the watch faces are now um, available to developers. As you can see there's plenty of watch faces now to go around. And now they have actually have animations, fun stuff like that, Surfline even has a watch face for those people that need to check the swell, um, let's see what else, there's a Pac-Man one that I had to get from the Play Store. It is actually paid, but it was 99 cents. Oh well. There's a Planets one, which I remember seeing before, but now it's probably taking advantage of the official API. So it's going to benefit from better battery life. Porsche even makes one. Don't really like that one too much, honestly. Plants vs. Zombies. It's a nice fun watch, you know, maybe good to wear when you're out and about, not at work, I wouldn't think. And that's about it there. And another cool thing with Android Wear 5.0 Lollipop, they kind of want a universal um, design language. So it's very hard to notice unless you're really paying attention, but when the screen turns off, it first turns black and white for just a second, which I think is really cool. When I press it, it's easier to see because the screen doesn't dim. If you go deep in your settings, a freaky feature, it does color inversion. I think this could be useful um, if you're in a different lighting environment. The um, having a more white background is actually easier to see in the sunlight. Um, let me know in the comments below if you actually know a better reason for that. Maybe people that have some type of disability? I'm not sure. Okay, so let me show you the new pull down menu. When you pull the top part down it no longer just turns vibrate on and off. You now have mute like normal. You have theater mode, which if you click it, it immediately turns the watch off and it won't come back on until you press this side button. Then you have to go back, turn it off, and then it's back to normal. Then we have sunlight mode, which makes the screen brighter for per a permanent amount of time. And then, of course, settings get you to your settings. And if you go to about, just want to show you the software is 5.0.1, so no more that 1.0 crap. Okay, so that's a majority of the features on the watch itself. Now, the Android Wear device for your smartphone got a few updates too. Um, as you can see now, it's very easy to see all your watch faces at once. You can see all the custom ones, and there's even an option to get more watch faces, which takes you to the Play Store, of course, to this Android Wear watch face portal, which is very nice. Um, this is all the typical stuff. It doesn't look like there's any more actions. And if you hit the settings, there's some new settings. There's watch battery, so you can see exactly what was using your battery. Um, Android system, Android Wear, Bluetooth, etc. And when you click watch storage, you can see everything using up 
um, your storage. So Google Play Services, which I would assume is like all the watch faces and apps and stuff like that, in addition to some other crap, I would imagine. Um, play music, you can actually download music to your, to your watch and play. And there's all the other options other apps and watch faces as well kind of geeky unnecessarily needed information but if you need to know there's a total of 2.9 gigs available to use so that's pretty good and that's about it in terms of the new stuff in the this app itself now if you have the Motorola Connect app I don't think that's much different um, let's see what happens if you try to customize. Yeah, it only lets you customize, you know, the Motorola watch faces themselves. Maybe this um, app will get phased out since the API is now released and people are going to be making really nice watch faces officially. Um, well, that is it, guys. That is the Motorola 360 lollipop update preview for you guys let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else i'll be glad to show it keep it safe for work though peace guys bye